but following this dirt road down, don't make the same mistake I did. There weren't any do not enter signs, not suitable for traffic, blah, blah, blah. Came all the way down here, and wasn't able to turn around, I had to back up this whole thing. And it's a good, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a mile to back up. <laughs> yeah, felt like an idiot, but again, no sign. So we're just coming down a gate home. Um, it's definitely not as tricky to get to as the worm's head um, as far as how far you have to go out. This is just a very narrow strip of land, thankfully. Um, but one cool thing about this island is, is it, was, it was used in an episode of, I think, Time Team um, on BBC. I think that's what it was. And then also this island was used during the filming of Snow White and the Huntsman um, and they superimposed a castle on top of it in post-production. So, and I love that movie even if it's not the best movie in the world. Here we are at the base of gate home. Um, it's not very accessible to get up on top, so we're not even gonna try. Um, but it is quite an imposing um, island, that's for sure. So we were gonna try and end up over here, which is more or less sand somewhere. Um, but this stuff right here, um, I don't think we can access or we can get through even at low tide. It looks quite treacherous. So I think we're gonna have to go back up and go along the top of the coastal path. So looking back out, we were way down in that sort of saddle area down there. Really good views of Gate Home Rock. You can just imagine having a, a very defensible castle sitting on top of that, can't you? It's so awesome just to have it all to myself. I'm absolutely blessed today. <sighs> wow. Just... I don't got words right now. I'm just feeling so at peace and so lucky to be out here enjoying this. A little bit emotional actually. We dropped down off the Pembrokeshire coastal path um, down to the beach, Marlow Sands and just to our left, according to the OS maps there is a cave and a waterfall I didn't even see the waterfall on the map to start with but um, both sound quite exciting um, at least according to my definition of exciting so let's go check those out um, we've still got about a half hour before the tide starts turning which I think is more than enough time because it's not that far along I don't know about you guys, but these rocks kind of make me think of like crashed spaceships or 
Um, I think they're kind of like Vasquez rocks in California um, that were used in the filming of Star Trek and stuff like that, but it's, a, it's more behind me. I just think it's kind of crazy. And obviously it's because I slid, disconnected from this right here and just fallen down. But this is just, this is beautiful out here. I'm absolutely loving this. Well worth coming to check out. I think we found our cave. We've also got rain coming in right behind us. Although I don't know if this is actually the cave here. No, nope, maybe this is just a very cool tunnel. Oh, Cody seems to have found something though. Oh wow. Well, I won't call that a cave, that's definitely an arch. Alright, and through. So I think this is our sea cave right here. It's not very big, um, but still a sea cave, right? But it's right next to the arch. Um, and I think we're just gonna hunker down here for a few minutes just to let this rain go by. It's obviously been well used um, recently. The um, See how they come up this high because it's still all churned up from footprints and stuff, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, and tide's still technically going out at this point. Looks like Kai found her sheltering spot right here. Just a perfect size for a 30 pound border collie. Cody, however, thinks being outside is fine. As long as there are better smells out there. Bright sheets of red rock. Absolutely incredible. Just sheer walls of rock. And I'm thinking this is our waterfall, although it's quite small. Um, I can't imagine anything else. I don't see any other water coming down, so not very impressive. I can definitely imagine that waterfall being a lot more impressive after it's rained, um, like potentially last night. That was probably looking a lot more dramatic, um, but obviously it's probably mostly fed by rainfall. Anyway, so we've kind of reached the end of Marlow Sands here. We're going to head back, but what we're going to do is just beyond that clay cliff, there's another way up to the top of the coastal path. So we'll take a slightly different route back um, and enjoy the views and hopefully avoid that rain. But I suspect we may get a little bit wet. All right, guys, um, <laughs> sorry I didn't get to film the rest of that trail there. We had uh, a little bit of a camera misfunction. Uh, it's the second time I've fallen over and, and, and jammed it. Um, so it is pretty much dead at this point. So everything else is gonna be filmed on the Osmo Action Cam, which doesn't have the greatest sound quality, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless. Uh, I hope you guys come and check out um, Marlow Sands and um, this whole area. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks guys.